Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Node.js full tutorial series for absolute beginners. When you are working on a large real-time application, there is data that you need to share between different modules. They need to be in sync. They need to have the same value at any given point of time. Think of it like this if you are building a chat application, right? So you want the same messages to be seen by the different parties who are communicating, right? You don't want the difference in the messages or real time. Also, that's one of the example. Also, when you talk about notifications, right? So yet another important thing, if you see Gmail or YouTube notifications, the moment a certain value is updated, it's reflecting in other places also. That's something like a real time notification that you can think of. These are all part of shared modules. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back friends, I'm your host, my name is Sridhar. This is part 10 of Node.js full tutorial playlist. There are around 25 tutorials that I have planned for you to help you learn and master Node.js with hands-on examples. Make sure you check out the playlist link which is in the description box below. All right, so we are in the 10th episode of Node.js full tutorial playlist. Um, the previous ones you can see on the screen, I've covered them. Make sure you have gone through them so that you have a continuity in learning. Today we are focusing on shared modules, right? So what are shared modules? So modules which are exported and are used in other modules, right? That's called as shared modules. And why do we need them? Because we need to share the data and the values throughout our application. It's good practice to have shared modules in some places, but not always. I'll show you the difference both, right? So it's a way of sharing code and values between different modules. Right. So I think the best way to learn is by seeing some demo. So let's get started on that. So if you see uh, the previous um, application that we have designed, we are working. So we have our app, right? We said we'll have commons folder, which will have common modules, which will have dedicated modules will be under modules, right? So if you see, we have our app module here and we have, um, we have modules folder inside this, we have our modules and this is app.js, right? So let's go ahead and create a, um, so let's say I have a global.js. Um, I created a new file global.js. Now let's declare a, a variable called page count, right? So if you see um, something like a preferences or a configuration, right? So you have um, something called page count equal to 10, let's say in the global.js. So make sure you create this file and you have page count. Now I'm just exporting this variable. So nothing fancy, nothing revolutionary here, except uh, what I'm doing is I'm just adding a variable name and I'm saying page count is equal to export this page count, right? So what happens is now this is a variable which has a value, right? We have seen this in the previous episode where we learned about creating custom uh, modules, right? So make sure you check out that episode if you have missed it. All right, so I have a variable, I'm exporting it. Now let's go ahead and in the invoices, let's import this particular file module, right? So I'm going to say import global and there's a pages, right? So here I'm going to print and say log page count set page count value. So what is the page count value? So I'm going to say start page count, right? Now let's run this. So it says page count value is 10. Hello from invoices module, that is this, right? And you have console.log page count value, which is 10. Why? Because in the global, we have put the page count as 10. Perfect, so far perfect. Now go here and what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the page count. I'm making it 20. Now let's see. Now, what is the value here? Page count is equal to 20, right? Now let's go and import this particular module, global module in orders, right? I've included that in the orders module. Now here I will say page count inside orders module, just dot page count, right? Now let's run it and see the what value comes. Now it says page count inside orders module is 20. You see it here, right? Let me show you by putting some space. 
So see here, it says 20, but we did not make any change in orders, right? Extremely important, pay carefully attention here, right? Shared modules are nothing but modules which are used inside other modules, right? The values are updated for the for the variable variables since they share same memory instance right that's why i did not add any value here for page count i'm just printing it from global but i updated the value in invoice see here right we updated the value in invoices module and in orders we are exporting from global right but this value is also updated which means whenever we update any value from global of shared module whenever we update a value in shared module it's updated in the in the main or the parent module itself not parent module i would rather say in the in the main module wherever you wherever you it's defined like in our case it's global.js right extremely critical um, thing because let's say what are the use cases right what use cases are we talking about right let's say real time chat time chat application right you want people to see same info right then this is the way to go forward shared modules right the other thing could be notifications right let's say some value got updated you need to specify and show the updated value right right and then order tracking right so if you are doing some kind of an orders, you are tracking it online. Whenever status changes, you want the same change appearing everywhere else, right? So these are some of the use cases where this shared modules is extremely useful. But remember, there is some dangers, right? Dangers of using shared module. Not dangers, I would say um, precautions right precautions uh, that you should use uh, since the value is always updated um, be extremely careful right be extremely careful when doing these modules this may lead to dangerous results results in production environment right not to scare you just precaution that you need to take care when working with shared modules. Since they work and update the same data, you need to make sure that they have the correct data that is updating at real time. All right, so that was about shared modules. In the next episode, that's going to be the blockbuster. A lot of times I hear from people sync, async, promise, try catch. These are some of the most dangerous things people are scared of. There is nothing to be scared of. I'm here to help you. Make sure you see the next episode. I'm sure you're going to love it. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.